Mo and friends. <laughs> I think he's got a letter, so I think he probably better go exploring. Oh, why are you leaving? Because Mo likes learning, and today Mo has a yearning to no more. Sing! I see that you're carrying the letter K, so please try not to get carried away. Mo loves to wander and roam. If I were you, I'd probably stay at home. <laughs> Take it easy, Mo. Bye, Mo. Cheerio, Mo. <laughs> What is karate? Uh, literally, karate means empty hand. Empty hand? Like that? Nearly like that. Oh. Can be like that, can be in a fist, but no weapons. It's a sport in the modern times, but it's evolved from a martial art from Japan. So, uh, what is a martial art for? Martial is war, so they're the war arts. Oh. So, learning the punches, strikes, kicking, takedown. Oh. Mo doesn't really want to fight anyone, but uh, Mo would like to learn karate. The majority of students that do begin karate is, is for their self-improvement and for self-defense. Oh, so you're really learning how not to fight. A karate student would never ever start any confrontation. Uh, what is this place called? Uh, this is called a dojo. Dojo? And are you the teacher? The Japanese word for teacher is sensei. Uh, sensei? Uh, could Mo please learn karate in uh, the dojo? You most certainly can. I'd love to teach you some karate. Oh, thank you very much. Us. Did you just say us? Yes, I did. Uh, the word us that means to push and persevere. Oh, does that mean to keep trying even when it's hard? Even when it's difficult, oh. never give up. Us. Come on, Dad. Why did you start doing karate? Because I wanted to be One Direction's bodyguard. Really? Do you think you'd be a good bodyguard? Yes. Maybe you could be Mo's bodyguard. What is that noise you make when you do a punch? It's called a ki-ai. I'll show Mo a ki -ai. Whoa! Why do people have different coloured belts? For grading. Oh. Does that tell you how good you are? Yes. Oh, and you have a green belt. You must be pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're modest too. That's nice. Ah! How long have you been doing karate? I think 10 years. Oh, and how old are you? Six. Okay. Ah! Is it fun? Uh, serious. Yeah? Okay, I will be serious. Hmm. Yes, karate. <laughs> the reason Mo is here today is Mo was told that uh, karate would help Mo chop a bit of wood. But uh, <laughs> there's no way that's possible. You can't break wood with your hands and feet. Actually, you can. You what? Can. Absolutely you can. It generally takes a lot of training because you make a little mistake and it's going to be a big ouch. Ooh, well, uh, could you please show Mo how you can break wood? I'll, I'll give it a go. Wow! That's amazing! And very lucky, the wood didn't punch back. <laughs> um, so can Mo have a go now? I think we'll need a little bit more practice before you do that. OK. Montage. Uh, 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 Good, Mo, that's uh, the way. Mo is tired. How are we going to get to Black Belt? Us. Yes. Push, push. <laughs> Okay, Mo. You've been training hard? Yep. This is it. Ah! Oh! Who did it? Us! Us! Oh, maybe the kakapo is here. Mo is looking for a kakapo. Uh, what is a kakapo? Well, Mo, a kakapo is a New Zealand native flightless parrot. Oh, a parrot? Well, that's just what Mo needs. <laughs> oh, where are you, Kakapo? Kakapo! There's no Kakapo anywhere. Well, Mo 
Mo has been looking everywhere for the kakapo, uh, but Mo can't see him. Uh, where is he? The clue's in the name, Mo. Kaka means parrot, right. and paw means night. He's nocturnal. Oh, so he only comes out at night? Absolutely. He sleeps during the day. Oh, well, uh, Mo will wait patiently for night time. That's a good idea. It won't be long now. Do you want to play a game of I Spy or something? Why not? I Mo Spy something beginning with K. Not yet. Kakapo. Oh. It's really dark now. Oh, what are those guys looking at? Oh, maybe it's a kakapo. Mo's coming. Mm. So what does a kakapo look like? They are green and have speckled feathers. Oh, where is he? Oh, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Oh, is the kakapo green so it blends into all the trees and bushes? Yes. Oh, so he can hide? Yeah, from predators like rats. Oh, what is his name? His name is Sirocco. That's a good name. Uh, maybe Mo should change Mo's name to Morocco. What do you think? Yeah. What does flightless mean? Um, they do have wings, oh. except um, they can't fly with them. Well, how do they get around? They use their claws and climb up branches. Oh! And do they walk around? Yeah, on their forest ground. And do they ride motorbikes? No. OK, no motorbikes. What's he up to? Oh, he's eating. Well, do you know what kakapo eat? They eat kind of berries. And berries? Nuts. Like muesli? Not quite Not like quite muesli. muesli. And also, he was eating ferns. Oh, dear. Mo has a friend called Fern. Do you think Zorocco would eat food? It was the oh, the, plant oh, the plant food, food not the fairy called food. No. Okay, that's good. So why was Sorocco in that little house with the windows? Because it's endangered. What does endangered mean? It means that there are not many of Kakapo's left. How many are left? Um, about 120. Whoa, that's not very many. So can you find Kakapo all around the world? No, Mo, you can't. Just in New Zealand? Just in New Zealand, yeah. Yeah, well, we'd better look after them then. We, I think we should, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was fun seeing Sorocco the Kakapo. Uh, who wants cuddles? Hey! Whoa! Whoa! Fun! <laughs> What is a kayak? A kayak is a long kind of boat. A long kind of boat? Oh. Does a kayak have a motor in it? No, it doesn't, actually. Does it have a sail? No. Well, then how do you make a kayak go? With a pedal. Oh, with a pedal. Do you have a pedal you can show, Mo? Yeah, sure. Oh. Yeah, Mo, here's a oh. pedal. Oh, that was convenient. How do you use a pedal? Pull it in front of you. Pull it through the water. Oh, so what does that do? That moves the boat. Oh. OK. Uh, I understand now. Paddle dips into the water. Uh, pull the paddle back. Kayak goes forward. Got it. So how do you make a paddle work? Go to the side, go to, to the, the side. side, to the side, to the side. Oh, and how do you go faster? Faster, 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 faster. Oh. On the paddle. Whoa! That's so fast! There's some fast paddling. And what if you want the kayak to turn right? Then you paddle on the left-hand side. Well, what if you want it to go left? Well, then you paddle on the right side. Oh! Whereabouts can you paddle a kayak? Lakes, streams, rivers, ocean. Oh! Just about anywhere there's water. Yeah. Not in the bath, though, eh? You need a really small one for the bath. Or, or a really big bath. Or a really big bath. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, who were you in the kayak with? Today I was in with my sister in the double kayak. In the double kayak? What does that mean? What's a double kayak? Well, two people can sit in one kayak. Oh, OK. But you uh, just make it a bit longer. And oh. then there's two pedals and you do the same thing on oh. each side. What other types of boats have a pedal? There's lots of boats, actually. Oh. What ones are they? Well, a rowboat. 
just a boat, but you just use the paddle. And what else? A raft, you yeah. just sit there and use a paddle. Oh. That's another type of boat. Any others? Um, paddle boat. A paddle boat? A paddle boat has a paddle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you think about the name, paddle boat, kind of makes sense. What happens if you fall out of your kayak? Doesn't matter, you just won't do it. Get back in. Really? Yeah, got a life jacket on to keep you oh. afloat. Oh, so the life jacket keeps you afloat. Yep. And you just jump back in the kayak. Mm-hmm. Piece of cake. Yep. Oh, paddling a kayak looks like fun. Mo would like to have a go uh, at paddling a kayak. Would that be OK? Uh, I think so. Oh! <laughs> you had Mo going there. <laughs> OK, Mo's going to do it. Oh, Mo's going to paddle yes, a kayak. Yes. Kapahaka. Kapahaka is literally the performing arts side of the Māori people. Oh. We do the haka, which is the war dance. Could you teach Mo to do a haka? Of course I can, Mo. Oh. The first action I'm going to teach you, I want you to throw your hands out. Yeah. And bring them back and hit your chest. Okay. okay. Give that a try. Okay, Here we go. We'll try. Out and hit. Good. One more. Out and hit. Good. Oh. That okay. makes me feel powerful. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna teach you one more action. Okay. okay. Next action. Right arm up and give it a shake. Okay, see this okay. action here? That literally means hide am I. Welcome. Hide am I. Hide am I. Welcome. And left and finish back up here like that. Good. Oh, that's quite hard. Oh, you are natural. Oh, very, very much. We've also got implements such as the tiraco, the long stick. In the short sticks and these games were used to increase eye and hand coordination. Yeah, yeah. We also do poi. So just to get your wrists moving. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, oh. Mo in the face. That's all, oh, that's oh. all right. There we go. Could you teach Mo some kapahaka moves, please? Yes. OK, uh, what do we do first? We go like this. And then you go like that. Oh. <laughs> is that right, or is Mo getting it wrong? No, you're not gonna get it wrong. I'm showing you. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> 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 What's it called when you poke your tongue out and you make your eyes go big? A pukana. A pukana? Is it fun to do a pukana? Yes. I'll oh, show Mo your best pukana. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> pukana. So when you're performing, uh, do you all just do whatever you want to do? No, you've got to follow the instructions. Why is that? Because... If you do anything, they won't know what you're doing. Oh. And doesn't it look very good? No. Oh. It looks silly. Uh, how does everyone stay in time? Well, no. We do taka here, so which is the stamping of the right foot, which you will see the male is doing. Um, we also do so with the guitar. So music is important to kapahaka? Oh, yes. So uh, do you get better if you practice? Of course. Like the saying says, Practice makes perfect. Yeah. Well, Mo will keep practicing. Very good. Well, that was fun learning about kapahaka. Who wants cuddles? Whoa. Down a little bit. Do a little loop. What are you doing today? We're making kites and flying kites. Kites? What are kites? Well, kites are objects that you can put string on and you can fly up in the sky. Wow. How do you make a kite? You start off with a bit of plastic. Yep. And you need about eight or nine bits of tape. Yep. Done. You put the sticks on the top and bottom corners and you okay, tape them down. Push the tape. 
upside down. Done. Put the tail on the kite. Then down there. Just a little bit of tape. Then you have to tape the string onto it so you can actually hold onto it while it's flying. Oh. Okay. Oh, time to decorate Mo's kite. Teddy, Fern, Gilbert, and Frank. <laughs> M O E spells Mo. So have you finished your kite? Yes, I have. Oh, can Mo see it, please? Where'd she go? Oh, there. Whoa! Oh, look at your pretty kite. And who is that handsome fellow next to the heart? It's you, Mo. <gasps> Lydia. I guess we should probably go and fly it. Yep. Let's do it. What kind of day is the best kind of day to fly a kite? Well, it should be sunny and kind of windy. Like today? Yes. Perfect. And uh, where's the best place to fly a kite? In a wide open space and no obstacles. Oh, well, what about over there? That looks like a good spot, don't you think? No, not with the no. power lines. <gasps> You well, might why? get electrocuted. Well, how would that happen? Well, you put the kite on the power lines and you get zapped. Well, that would be terrible. Uh, what kind of kites have you seen today? Uh, one which I've seen is a shape of a girl who has wings. No way. Then like this, being these two boxes and a wings. So can kites be all sorts of different shapes? Yes, if you get the aerodynamics right. So do you know how a kite works? Um, the wind pushes the plastic into the air and then it flies. So, uh, it's kind of like a sail on a boat. Yeah. Mo is ready. You ready? Okay. Here ready. we go. Okay. <laughs> it's flying, Mo. Moe's kind is flying. Moe's kind is in the sky. Yeah. Oh, you got it, Lydia. Work, little kite. Well, thanks for making and flying kites with Mo. Uh, cuddles! Oh, yeah. Kite cuddles. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>